Hi, it's Matt here from Sydney Goddard Tours. This video is from an interview that I did with um, Corey Richard from Travel Secret VIPs, which is a positive travel Facebook community. In this interview, I answer top questions on traveling to Sydney, Australia, and share my perspective from the eyes of a local. This video is just one of a series. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, please subscribe and um, tap on the bell icon to be notified of my latest releases. Before we bring in Matt, the purpose of this podcast, which we're only on episode two here, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this podcast is to interview professional tour guides and travel experts from the top bucket list destinations all around the world and learn through the eyes of a local, which we're gonna be doing a lot of this evening. And if you're not sure what to do, where to go, or how to make the most of your time and money uh, on your next dream trip vacation, then this show is for you. So without further ado, I know that was a, a crazy intro there. Without further ado, I wanna introduce my special guest for the evening, Mr. Matt. Urban Hazy. And it looks hey. like you're already you're out in nature, Matt. No, this is chroma key, mate. This is all fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at this. Hang on, before we get look at this, hang on. I am I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I'm in the middle of nowhere. So you were so, kidding. Um, you you really do get outside of, of yeah, Sydney, mate. Australia and go uh, go elsewhere. This is this is my office. <laughs> I love Not it. Bad, Hang on, the life, I'll bring this around. The life of a tour guide. I know. This is a dream job. People say, Matt, what do you do when you're not working? I say, this. <laughs> That's it. Can you believe it? I dream love gig, it. mate. Yeah. For all, so I can't wait to jump into, we have a bunch of questions that we're going to get to. And I just want to say, for those that are jumping on uh, live with us tonight, if you have questions about Sydney, Australia, anything Sydney, Australia, Tonight is your night, so don't be shy. Um, I'm gonna be looking at the comments. So if you have questions at the end of the show, we're gonna get to your comments and making sure that anything that you want to know about Sydney, Australia is coming right from this guy. <laughs> and if so I Matt, don't know it, I'll, I'll make it up. There you go, <laughs> there you go. So Matt, why don't you share a little bit? I know that I just read your, your uh, your pre-written bio there, but why don't you explain a little bit more about right. uh, who you are and how you got into being a, an expert tour guide in Sydney, Australia. Okay, all right, well, look, I've, I've got a cheat sheet in case I forget, um, because you've got quite a lot of questions I've got to cover. But anyway, the first one, um, how I got into this business. Well, what happened was when I was a kid, I grew up in this area like on the other side of Sydney. I am in Sydney, but I'm about 45 minutes out of Sydney, 45 minutes drive. And all kids back in my day, look, I'm 56, I'm an old fart. When we were young, we didn't have TikTok. We went, we'd go down the bush, we we make cubby houses in these caves and, and explore the cliffs and the natural environment. How's, how good is this? You see that? Anyway, so that's, what, that's how we spent our childhood, exploring these areas and making cubby houses and cliffs and caves and all that kind of nonsense. So it was a dream childhood. But then I had to grow up and um, I, luckily for me, I knew what I wanted to be. I wanted to be an artist. So I got into um, art and design and computer graphics, then animation, special effects and video production. And I worked in that for 30 years, kept away from, um, you know, I had a family and all that kind of nonsense. Um, but then, as technology evolves and, um, you know, video production was over, over um, saturated with, with new players. So I got out of it just a year ago and I saw a career consultant. He said, what are you good at? And it's like, oh, all I know is video production. And um, so I asked friends and I've got family from Malaysia and they come to Australia all the time. So I'm always showing them Australia. And they said, why don't you be a tour guide? And I thought, oh, maybe. And then because I've got no other skills apart from video production, but I know the bush and I know it inside out and I love showing people the bush. So um, this, this career consultant said, become a tour guide, so I did. And um, so uh, exactly a year ago, I, I set up this, um, there's a thing in the tourism industry called Famils where you go for a drive with, um, with an established tour operator and they show you around. And I did that in Sydney and I was bored out of my wits. It's like, is this the best you can do? 
you know, everyone does the same routine. They go to animal parks where they see kangaroos walk around in circles. And, sure. And I, thought, I know, I know there's, you know, in a, a couple of valleys away, I know we can go and you can sit and you can hug an emu or you can hug a kangaroo, you can pet a kangaroo. And it's a real thing that's in the bush. And, and I could take, so I took people, I'd pick up my guests, mainly Americans from, um, from Texas. So I'd have to listen to it. I, you can play whatever music you want. So we were listening to all this boots goody music and <laughs> all that kind of nonsense. No, it's great music. So I, um, yeah, that was my gig. I, I'd, I'd pick up guests from the city and I'd show them, I'd promise people the best of nature in my life in a day in Australia. And I delivered it. And then COVID came. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and that changed everything. So now what I do is you're sitting on the end of a gimbal, like which is like a, a stabilizer. Sure. And but now I've taken it one step above, and now this uh, stab, um, gimbal is on the end of a giant boom pole. So I can, what I do is I take people for bushwalks, and I put you into caves and looking at business and things like that. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. So it's uh, now I'm a virtual tour guide for now. But when the gates to Australia open up again in um, December next year. Yep. Because we're, we're tight asses like that. So we're not going to let anyone in to the country until December next year. But until then, I'm doing virtual tours. But yeah. honestly, the, um, the tourism business or industry, it's fascinating. There's a lot to see. Um, and nature and wildlife, mate, you can't beat it. And sure. it's different to what you guys have. Very yeah. Different. No, I'm sure. And I'm, we're going to jump into a lot of this today. And it's always fascinating, right? Like we were just talking... Yeah. We were talking before we even got on here, and you were like, "Wow, like we have graphics for the show tonight." We, Corey, you're moving so quickly, like with all these things that we're doing. And I'm like, "Man, I went to school for broadcast journalism, and like I didn't go yeah. down the path of like I, I had an internship at ESPN Radio that I didn't even yeah. mention to you yet. And then I just realized I didn't really want to do this, and here we are. Like we're doing yeah. a show like this. We're throwing up awesome graphics." And uh, people there's... like you that put me out of a job. <laughs> but, hey, yeah. but now I'm doing this. What? I can't. Yeah. Look, this is this is a dream job for me. I'm getting back to my roots. This is what I did as a 12 year old. You yeah. Know, sleeping in caves overnight, catching lizards and catching fish by hand. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Of course, of course, man. Like I, it's this is the day and age that we live in, right? The day and age of the internet. I just reached out yeah. to you randomly. Here we are. 